I'm going to escape and do that again. Okay, you can also, if you have drawn a polyline and you don't like where it is, you can sketch from one to another and it will kind of edit the loop like that. Okay. Quickly, um, I developed this add-on for trimming teeth out of models because cutting objects in Blender can be a little bit tricky. Okay, but you can use this for anything. Um, best used on high density meshes. This is not really a substitution for the knife tool or for creating um, geometry from scratch. Okay, another thing, so you'll notice this little green line that appears if you're kind of close to an edge. That will insert a point between the two cut nodes. Okay, and when you click on your last point, it toggles the loop cyclic. Okay. Alright, so once you've closed your loop, um, hit the C key preview the cut. Okay, in this case all the cut segments completed successfully. Let me see if I can um, make a bad cut happen by going over some of this meshy, messy part of the mesh. Oh, it's going to be behaving. Okay, but if there is a um, a bad part of the mesh, in a bad part of the cut that has failed, the little segment will appear red and all you need to do is move the cut node a little bit around on the mesh and hit C again until it's green all the way around. Okay. Once it's green, hit S, that's to place a seed marker and then left click in the area where you want to remove. Okay. So if I wanted to keep the outside, um, I would click over here. Um, now, obviously, in this case, it wouldn't matter. It'd separate the two pieces. But later on, you, know, you want to distinguish what part you want to separate out. Okay, a little bit weird. Um, after you've previewed the cut with C, you need to hit the D key. Um, and that's mainly because this step takes a little while. So I wanted to break it up from the actual um, mesh separation step, which also takes a while. That way, you know, users have some sense that this step is happening. Okay, if it's blue all the way around, then the mesh has been successfully cut. And then E to execute. And this also takes a while. Now, if that takes a really, really long time, sometimes um, if there's like bad geometry here, that means that the mesh may be watertight but has two little connecting loops. When that seed is growing out to find the perimeter, it'll actually jump the bridge over if there's a part of the existing mesh that bridges the cut, it'll jump, it'll cross the bridge and find the whole mesh and it will cut the edges, but it won't separate this piece out because technically it's still um, connected to the original mesh. Okay, so that piece has been cut out as a separate object. Okay, so let's select the object again and run poly trim. Okay. You'll notice when you get close to the non-manifold edges that a little um, green dot appears. That allows you to cut from non-manifold edges. Now I find that for teeth a lot of times because there's this little messy lip where there's a tight crevice um, that often I don't use that feature. I'll actually come through and you know cut again here. Okay, but let's say that I had cut perfectly down this crease, which sometimes does work. Um, then I can close the cut by going back to the non-manifold edge, same steps. C to cut, S to place a seed, D to make the cut on the B-mesh. Remember this step takes a second, I need to implement some kind of progress bar. And E to finish the job. And we just go on like that. So um, still a pretty slow process. Um, 
However, I think it's a lot faster than... Oh, and if you're going to cut from a non-manifold edge, you need to start on the boundary. And also, the cutting does take into account the view that you're looking at. So the more perpendicular to the mesh boundary you can be, Now this sometimes gets a little tricky because it it thinks it wants to add an edge, but all right. Okay, so let's delete that. Direct. Okay, and we'll hit C again. There we go. So that's a little messy there. I need to figure out a better way to work with that. S to place the seed, D to do the little intermediate step, and E to finish the job. Okay, so that is how you cut out parts of a mesh using the poly trim add-on.